What's up fellow realtors and tech junkies? Are you like me and forget to carry business cards with you at all times? Yes! If you are, you're gonna love this Tech Tip Tuesday. I'm gonna show you how to carry your business card on the one device you never leave home without. All right, so digital business cards are all the rage right now. There's bracelets that you tap to a phone and cases that you tap to a phone and pop sockets that you tap to a phone, all these crazy things out there. And they're really, really cool, but most of them cost money. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a lock screen for your phone that uses a QR code with your V card attached to it. Now, a lot of you may not realize this, but I am actually a practicing real estate agent. I'm with Keller Williams Realty, and I feel blessed that we have proprietary software called Command that has a designs applet in it that I can create this graphic for my lock screen on the phone. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. However, you can also use easy software like Canva or more complicated software like Adobe Photoshop any image editing software will work for this. All right, let's jump into it. I am in command and I'm gonna go to the third applet from the bottom called designs. I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna go grab another tab and I'm looking for qrcodegenerator.com. That's qr code hyphen generator.com. I'll link to that in the description below to make it easy. All right, and I want to choose V card. I'm gonna enter the information here. Get our first and last name, put our phone number in. I'm gonna do that with the hyphens in the middle and then our website. And for my website on this, I'm actually gonna capture my YouTube channel and we're gonna paste that in there. Okay, so this is all ready to go. I'm gonna click on generate QR code and then we're gonna see this QR code change here. Now, this is just a plain QR code. I'll tell you, I actually like this one better that has the scan me built into it. And then just to double check and make sure that that is it. Yep, we're good. Okay, so this will be my QR code here. I'm going to scan it just to be sure. And that works. You can see right there, it's gonna add me to the contacts. Okay, so we know that's working. So we're gonna hit download. And then you'll get this screen here, but you actually don't do anything here. You're gonna be waiting for a pop-up on your computer that will ask you to download and save that QR code. So here it is here and we're gonna give it a name. All right, and we're gonna save that to my downloads. Now I'm gonna go into designs and command. I'm gonna create a design, click on social, and then continue. And what I wanna do here is I actually wanna add that QR code to my assets in my command account, the designs account, so that I have that there to use whenever I want to. All right, so we're gonna click on assets. And I'm gonna choose images. And you can see I have previous QR codes here. I'm gonna upload a new image. I'm gonna to go to device and my downloads here's the new one and upload one file and here's that new qr code for realty tech guru okay now i'm going to go to templates i'm going to choose lead generation in my menu on the left here i'm going to go down to i love kw and then I'm gonna look in here and what I want are social stories because I want that elongated portrait orientation of that graphic. 
So I love this one, no one succeeds alone. So we're gonna use that, click on use. And I'm gonna go to my images, which I'm on. And that is the RTG QR code right there. So all I have to do is hit the plus sign and it puts it right in there for me. All right, so one thing that we're gonna be careful about is the fact that on our phone, the time and date displays up here at the top. So I'm gonna make this just slightly bigger. All right, and then I'm gonna move this around to get it a little bit focused. I don't want it on that graphic. I'm gonna get centered here and that looks good to me. Okay, so now we're gonna give it a name. All right, and once we give it a name, then I'm gonna click done. And I'm gonna click download. I'm gonna leave the settings at their default settings. That works for me. So then I'm gonna hit download here. And here is my pop-up. That title works good for me. I'm good with that. So I'm gonna hit save. And now that's saved to my computer. So now what I wanna do is I wanna jump into my email. I'm going to compose a new email and I'm gonna send that graphic to myself. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump on my phone here. All right, so I'm gonna jump into my Gmail and here is the email. There's my graphic with the QR code for my V card. I'm gonna download that and it's gonna save it to my photos. Now I'm gonna go to my photos and I can see that it's right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna hit my share icon in the lower left hand corner. And then I'm gonna scroll up here and I have use as wallpaper. So that's what I wanna click on. And then I'm gonna shrink this just a little bit. Okay, and then I can reposition this so that I see um, all of that lettering for no one succeeds alone. Okay, and then we can also see that the graphic doesn't have the time and date over it and I am good to go. So I'm gonna hit set and now I have the option to set it as the lock screen or set it as the home screen or set both. I'm not gonna set it as my home screen or set both because when it's the home screen, all of your icons are over that graphic and it can't be read by a camera on a phone anyway. So I'm only gonna set it as the lock screen. So we're gonna set it as lock screen. And now we can see that I have my new lock screen. All right, so now what you're gonna do if you're at a convention or you're out at a restaurant and somebody wants your business card, all you have to do is whip out your phone, flash that to them, tell them to open up their camera app, they scan it and it will load the contact. Let me show you how that works. So we would open our camera app and then we're gonna pretend this is the lock screen on the phone. It works exactly the same way. You can see add Brett Bishop to contacts. When we click on that, it's actually gonna flash up that entire V card that we filled out on QR code generator. And all they have to do is hit save up in the top right corner. And now they've just added that to their contacts. Pretty slick, huh? So what do you think? Don't you think that business card on your lock screen on your phone is one of the coolest things ever? And it's absolutely free. Now let's take it a step further. I can take that QR code and put it on my Apple watch. How cool is that? So I'm going to throw that one back to Brooke, the nerd who talked about it recently and let her take you from this video to putting that QR code on your Apple watch. Brooke, what do you think about that challenge? I'm looking forward to seeing the video. All right. Hey, if you're getting value out of this channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up 
and ding that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Remember, as always, have fun and explore the technology.